Hi, in the last lecture series, we have seen about the anatomy of colon, like internal and external parts of the body, ascending colon and descending colon. So, today lecture series, we are going to see about the criteria for drug selection of colon targeted drug delivery system. The criteria, for example, pharmacological class as well as the drugs, patient condition and disease condition and site of action. So in our topic colon targeted drug delivery system, the important vital role for the criteria for selection of drugs for colon specific drug delivery system because of improve the bioavailability and therapeutic effect. Now we will go for the criteria for selection of drugs for colon specific drug delivery system. Drugs which are meant to be incorporated into a colon specific delivery system should fulfill one or more of the following physicochemical therapeutic criteria. First, these drugs should exhibit local effects in the colon to treat intestinal disease. Peptide drugs like amylin and non-peptide drugs such as oxyprenolol are some examples of agents with these effects. Secondly, these drugs may demonstrate a suboptimal absorption in the upper gastrointestinal tract. This includes antianginal drugs such as isosorbite dinitrate. The agents used in the treatment of colon are rectal cancers, example 5-fluorouracil and capsetapin are also ideal candidates for colon drug delivery system. The remaining criteria include a high likelihood of the drugs degradation in the stomach by the acidic environment or enzymes, example peptide drugs like insulin and gonadotropin are a high risk for first pass metabolism, example is corticosteroids. The best candidates for colon drug delivery system are drugs with so poor absorption from the stomach or intestinal including peptides. The drugs used in the treatment of inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, diarrhea and colon cancer is ideal candidates for local colon delivery. The selection of carrier for particular drugs depends on the physicochemical nature of the drugs as well as the disease for which the system is to be used. Factors such as chemical nature, stability and partition coefficient of the drug and type of absorption enhancer chosen influence the carrier selection. Moreover, the choice of the drug carrier depends on the functional groups of the drug molecules. For example, aniline or nitro groups on a drug may be used to link it to another benzene group through an aso bond. The carriers which contain additives like polymers may be used as matrices and hydrogels or coating agents may influence to the release properties and efficacy of the systems. Drug delivery selectively to the colon through oral route is becoming increasingly popular for the treatment of large intestinal disease and for systemic absorption of peptides and protein drugs. It is well recognized that peptides and proteins are well absorbed intact from the gastrointestinal tract. But the bioavailability is invariably extremely low with exceptions such as di and tripeptide analogs and cyclosporins. A variety of protein and peptide drugs like calcitonin, interferon, interleukins, erythropoietin, growth hormones and even insulins are being investigated for their systemic absorption using colon specific drug delivery systems. The inflammatory bowel disease such as ulcerative colitis and colitis disease requires selective local delivery of the drug to the colon. Sulfasalazine is the most commonly prescribed medications for such disease. The other drugs used in inflammatory bowel disease are steroids such as dexamethasone, bretnisolone and hydrocortisone. Colon targeted drug delivery system for theophylline could prove beneficial for asthmatic patient since asthma shows a diurnal rhythm. The incident of asthma attacks is for example greatest during the early hours of the morning because dosage forms remain longer in the large intestine than in the small intestine. Colon targeted drug delivery system would be used to prolong drug release action. The criteria for selection of drugs for colon specific drug delivery system. The criteria is drugs used for local effects in the colon against gastrointestinal tract disease. The pharmacological class is anti-inflammatory for example nifedipine, 
non peptide drugs oxyprenolol and metoprolol the drug poorly absorbed from the upper gastrointestinal tract the pharmacological class is anti hypertensive drugs and anti anginal drugs but non peptide drugs isosorbides theophylline and ibuprofen the criteria for drugs for colon cancer anti neoplastic drugs for non peptide drugs pseudo ephedrine the criteria for drugs that degrade in stomach and small intestine peptides and protein drugs for non peptide drugs promofeniramine 5 fluorouracil doxorubicin the criteria for drugs that undergo extensive first pass metabolism pharmacological class is nitroglycerin and corticosteroids but non peptide drugs is bleomycin and nicotine the criteria for drugs for targeting anti arthritic and anti asthmatic drugs non peptide drugs is prednisolone and hydrocortisone the criteria for drug selection the target site disease condition drugs and active agents is a vital role for example target size is for example topical action for disease condition is inflammatory bowel disease irritable bowel disease and crohn's disease and chronic pancreatitis for example drugs and active agent hydrocortisone budisonide and prednisolone sulfasalicin oxazolacin mesalazacin balsasalicide for example target site is to- local action pancreatectomy and cystic fibrosis colorectal cancer the digestive enzyme supplements of 5 fluorouracil and target site is systemic action and disease condition is to prevent gastric irritation to prevent first pass metabolism of orally ingested drugs orally delivered of peptides orally delivered of vaccines for example non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs steroids and insulin the criteria for drug selection these are the very important parameters drugs used for local effects in colon against git disease drugs poorly absorbed from the upper gi tract drugs for colon cancer drugs that degrade in stomach and small intestine drugs that undergo extensively first pass metabolism drugs for targeting let's come to the end of the session i hope you all understand about the criteria for selection of drugs for colon specific drug delivery system the upcoming lecture series we are going to see in about the approaches for colon targeted drug delivery system thank you